This is part two of virus elimination therapy for strawberries to show what a flower bud looks like under the scope. It's important to be able to identify flower buds since you do not want them for therapy work. My name is Sue Sim and I'm with Foundation Plant Services, UC Davis. So here's a vegetative bud, which is the type you do want. Notice that it is quite pointed and has pairs of leaf primordia surrounding it. Uh, usually runner tips will contain both vegetative and flower buds. Next we'll see a flower bud. Now it's quite hard to see, but if you use some imagination, it kind of looks like a strawberry fruit. It's a little bit pointed and it has petals surrounding it instead of pairs of leaf primordia. It's easier to identify if you've seen the excision in process. So we'll show a little bit of that uh, using Vatslava's excellent technique in excising the flower bud. Uh, here it is, another one from a different angle. There's one relatively large leaf primordia behind it. And from this angle, it's possible to see that this flower bud is quite flat compared to a vegetative bud. The petals surrounding it are not in pairs. This flower bud has another flower bud below it. And you can, once she gets it on the scalpel, maybe you'll be able to ma make out the petals that are curving around the bud. And there it is, almost. There it is. Now the next photo is a composite of 10 photos that were each focused on a different plane, so it's quite clear. The flower bud is on the right, and below it are three or four vegetative buds, the shiny parts. Here's another photo of a flower bud that pet, uh, with the petals that are fairly easy to see. One time we got a small fruit growing in a tube, which was kind of exciting. Uh, it never ripened though. Finally, it's worth mentioning our favorite scope. This scope has more working room between the lens and the surface than the scope that we use with the camera, so it's easier to manipulate the plant. It also has nice ergonomic adjustments. Thanks for watching. For more information, check our website at fps.ucdavis.edu.